Hello everyone and welcome to this guide for Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree where I'm going over every quest in the DLC in order. This is part 3 of the guide and the final part of the series. We'll be finishing Theolier's quest, St. Trina, and back Freya, Hornscent, Dryleaf Dane, and Night Leda in this video. Let's jump into it. Step 1 is to reach St. Trina. She is located in the stone coffin at the bottom of the Cerulean coast and you must head inside of the giant hole in the ground walk all the way to the end of the dungeon where you will find and defeat the putrescent knight. If you talk to Theolier when you reach the end of the stone coffin, but just before you fight the knight, then you can actually get Theolier here as a summon for the boss arena to help you out. After the putrescent knight is defeated, you can speak with Saint Trina. Then you can return to Theolier and tell him of Saint Trina's whereabouts if you haven't done so already. Step 3, return to St. Trina and speak with Theolier and make sure to exhaust all of the dialogue options with him. Step 4, now it's time to go drink St. Trina's nectar and you need to do this 6 times until she mentions killing Mikola. You can do this 4 now and 2 later but you may as well just do all 6 in a row. Step 5, share St. Trina's message with Theolier twice and he becomes more angry and angry. Again, exhaust all of his dialogue. Step 6, go and rest at the site of grace and Theolier will invade you and you can defeat him. Step 7. Rest at the grace site to reset the area and then pass on the message to Theolier once again from St. Trina and this will be the final part that is involving St. Trina in this section of the quest and we will see Theolier a bit later in the video. So step 8, we're going to be making a decision on Ansbach before moving on. I did mention this in the first video, but wasn't quite clear enough on the best path to get all the rewards. 
So the best solution is when you get to Shadow Keep and you find the summoning signs. The best way is to skip the Leda and Horn Scent fight entirely, as you can get the rewards later. Then this will allow you to get the Leda and Ansbach fight instead. And the best option here is to choose and side with Ansbach. You'll get his bow after you defeat Leda. And after the final boss of the DLC, you will get his armor set, Furious Blade of Ansbach Incantation, and you will get the Obsidian Lamina weapon. So choose to help Ansbach and defeat Leda will get you all the rewards. So choose to help Ansbach in Shadow's Keep and fight Leda here. Step 9, we need to head to the ancient ruins of Rua through the elevator on the storehouse first floor in Shadow's Keep. Step 10, make your way through all of the ruins to reach the final grace point before the final boss. But just before you get here, you'll be invaded by Hornscent, who you can defeat, and you will get his weapon and his armor set. And that will conclude the Hornscent questline. Step 11, we next need to fight and defeat the boss Romina, Saint of the Bud, and she's quite a tough boss. However, just outside of the boss room, you can summon for help Dryleaf Dane. Step 12, this next step is to burn the bud tree and this is the point of no return for the DLC in terms of the NPCs. So if you're not quite finished any of the quests, do them now, although if you follow this guide then you won't have any issues. Step 13, we're now in Enner Ilum 
and you simply need to make your way all the way to the end of the location to the final showdown against Needle Knight Leda and her followers. And who you fight here will really depend on the choices you've made for the previous parts of the quest. So in order to get Anne's back as an ally, you need to have given them the secret right scroll in Shadow's Keep, and then also not helped Leda defeat him earlier in Shadow's Keep as well. Theolia, you get him if you told Saint Trina his last words during the quest, and we did that not long ago. Sanguine Noble Natan, you will get him if you've defeated Ansbach previously. He's just an NPC that will replace Ansbach, so you have two allies in this fight. Needle Knight Leda and Dryleaf Dane are hostile against you no matter what you do. Freya, she will be a hostile who joins Leda as an invader if you delivered the letter to Freya during her quest in Shadow's Keep. Moor will also be a hostile if you chose the option to put it behind him when we did his quest line. Lastly, Horn Scent will be in the fight against you as well if you chose not to kill him already, which we just did in the invasion before the last boss fight. So the opponents you get here and your allies can be slightly different, but either way, just defeat all the enemies and then you are ready to move on. So step 14, fight everyone and win. You are now able to loot all the armors from Leda, Freya, Dryleaf Dane, Moor, and Hornscent, if you've not already done them. Dryleaf Dane, when you loot his body, will only mention Dane's footwork weapon, but you should also get his armor set in your infantry as well, so keep that in mind. Step 15, head up the stairs and then take the elevator up. You can speak to Sir Anne's back. Righteous carnage. That was an astounding battle, to be sure. Now I suppose this leaves only one. Step 16, the final stage of this guide is to head up the stairs to fight the final boss. And outside of the arena, you can summon both Sir Anne's back and the Olier. However, doing this will make the boss incredibly tough because the health of the boss will increase but fortunately you don't actually need to summon these guys in order to get the quest rewards from them so don't bother summoning them it will make the final boss a lot harder you can just fight him as normal Step 17, after he's defeated, you can pick up the armor sets from both Ansbach and Theolier.
step 18, you can return to St. Trina and you get the St. Trina flower from her body. Guys, then the only thing left to do in the DLC is to find and defeat Midra, Lord of the Frenzied Flame in the Abyssal Woods. I feel like there should have been one more quest in this DLC that tied into this somehow, as the Abyssal Woods are pretty cool and interesting. Too much so to be optional, I think, but you can explore it on your own time, and then you just need to go around and mop up everything from the rest of the DLC locations. Oh, yes. But we are finished all the quest lines, all 14 NPCs in the DLC. Guys, that is it for this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, leave a like and comment. It really helps me out. And I will see you next time. Bye.